Hello and welcome to Basics for Gamers Presents Crafting Examples Part 1 for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. If you haven't already watched our knowledge video on basic crafting rules, you're encouraged to do so before viewing this example. A link to that video may be found in the description and also in the upper right of this screen. In this example, Gimra is going to craft a suit of half plate armor. She is third level with training proficiency in crafting and a skill bonus of plus six. The first requirement is item level. There is no item level listed for half plate armor, so it defaults to item level zero. Gimra is third level, so she meets this requirement. The second requirement is proficiency. As a zero level item, trained proficiency is all that is needed to craft this. Third, does she need a special feat to make half plate armor? Is not magical, alchemical, or a snare, so she does not need any feats to make this. Fourth, does she have the proper tools? We'll say she purchased a set of artisan's tools and labeled them as smithing tools on her character sheet, and the local blacksmith is letting her use their forge, so this requirement is covered. Fifth, does she have a formula for half plate? We'll say that she purchased a basic crafter's book. Half plate is a common item found in chapter 6 of the rules, so its formula is included in that basic crafter's book. And the last requirement is materials. Half plate is listed with a price of 18 gold pieces, so she must provide 9 gold up front to begin her work, and must provide 18 gold worth of materials or discounts in order to complete the armor set. She works 8 hours a day for 4 days straight, at the end of which her player rolls a crafting skill check. The GM compares the total to a DC that they set in secret. For this, we'll say the GM set a DC of 14. Gimmer rolls a D20 and adds her crafting bonus of plus 6. If she rolls a 7, then she fails, which means that her 4 days of work were wasted, but she gets her 9 gold pieces worth of materials back and can try again. If she rolls a natural 1, then she critically fails and not only wasted 4 days of work, but also loses 10% of the materials. In this case, we convert the 9 gold to 90 silver pieces, and she loses 10% of that, or 9 silver, leaving her with 81 silver pieces worth of material. She can start the process over and try again, provided that she can replace the 9 silver pieces worth of lost materials. But if Gimmer rolls an 8 on her check, then she succeeds. She now has two options. The half plate armor has a remaining balance of 9 gold that needs to be covered. She can either pay that 9 gold and instantly finish her work, or she can spend another day of work to lower that balance. She decides to invest another day into crafting the armor. To learn how much this lowers the remaining balance by, we need to look at Table 4-2 on page 236. Gimra is 3rd level and trained, so every extra day of work lowers the remaining balance by 5 silver pieces. If she had rolled a critical success, then she would be treated as if she was 4th level and would lower the balance by 7 silver pieces after an extra day of work. But for this example, we're going to say that she succeeded but not critically succeeded, so after day 5, the remaining balance lowers from 9 gold pieces to 8 gold and 5 silver, or it might just be easiest to call it 85 silver pieces. At this point, her player's jaw hits the floor as she realizes that she'll need to spend another 17 days in order to finish this suit of armor. She says to her GM, there's no way that can be right. And her GM tells her, yeah, sorry, but that's how it works. And yes, this has been a major point of contention on the internet, but at the time of this recording, there have been no additional rules provided that would lower this time requirement beyond leveling up and gaining a higher level of proficiency. But I would not be at the least bit surprised if future books provide new and advanced feats that would address this. Regardless, Gimmer's GM tells her that she has three days remaining of downtime before her party has to leave town, so she spends the rest of her available time working on the armor, lowers the remaining balance from 85 silver to 60, 
and at the end of day eight, she pays the remaining 60 silver pieces to finish her suit of half-plate armor. If you'd like to see the companion course that explains the rules behind these examples, you can find a link to it in the description and highlighted on the screen as well. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and click that bell so you never miss out on our future videos. If you'd like to support this channel so that we can keep producing instructional videos, you can do so through our Patreon. And feel free to leave in the comments any suggestions you have for future examples. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you soon with more basics for your favorite games.